Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a first impressions review and swatch video of the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Rose Matter. This is what the tube looks like. Oh my goodness, can you just see the gorgeous fluid in the bottle? Ooh, and it just comes in the very, very standard Jeffree Star liquid lipstick box. If you're curious, it does have 5.6 mil or if you're talking in ounces, it is 0.19 ounces. So I did buy mine for 18 US dollars and then I did get it shipped to my house in Australia via Beautylish. I really, really like Beautylish. I think that they're an overall really, really nice store to buy any products. So yeah, that's where I got mine from. So I have already prepped my lips with a lip scrub. I use the Jeffree Star lip scrub in the shade... I was going to say shade, but no, it's in the scent Root Beer Float. I don't think the scents make a difference, but if you're curious, I used Root Beer Float. And then I did put on my Burt's Bees Lip Balm in the Replenishing Shade. No, Refreshing Shade, I'm sorry. Why do I keep saying shade when it really should be scent? I don't know. I don't know at all. I'm sorry. Anyway, you're supposed to give these a shake. I remember in my Scorpio swatch video, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. Um, but like so many people were like, you didn't shake it. And it's like, I did. I just didn't do it on camera. Um, but anyway, I'm going to shake it for you guys today so you can see that I am actually shaking it. So let's hope that this one doesn't turn out oily. I hope that this color goes with my eye makeup today. Regardless, I think it will be a gorgeous color. And what I'll do after I've swatched it on my lips is I will swatch it on my arm and compare it to a few other Jeffree Star nude, nude-ish or pinky liquid lipsticks as well. Just so you guys can see, compare and see if it's one of your favourites. This one does smell like root beer float, so if you don't like that, you might not like this. Can you guys hear my sheep? <laughs> anyway. Guys, they're literally outside my window and I think they can see me. And they probably like feed me. But it's like I only just gave you food like an hour ago. Anyway. <laughs> so with their doe foot applicator. It is slightly. Like it kind of fits the curvature of your lip quite well. Um, if you guys can see. There is a lot of build up right here. Oh my god. Can my sheep just. Two minutes guys. Two minutes please. Okay. So. It smells like root beer float. I personally love root beer float. Um, I think it smells like sarsaparilla. I think root beer is sarsaparilla and I love sarsaparilla. Um, the one thing that I don't really like about Jeffree's liquid lipsticks is that they do have a lot of excess product on the nib when they are brand new, but whatever, we'll just roll with it. And I'll need to wipe off my lip balm at some stage before I put on my lips, I almost forgot. Um, so I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. Ooh, it's so pretty. Slightly oily though, like it's going into like the cracks in my hand. Not the cracks, but like you know how like your arm has like lines and stuff? This is actually a gorgeous shade. It probably doesn't go with my eye makeup now, but it is a gorgeous shade. I cannot wait to rock this in like the spring summertime. Anyway, I'm gonna wipe off my lip balm. Just gonna give it one more shake. I'm not going to line my lips just because I just want to show you guys what the colour looks like on my lips. But, yeah. So I've given it a really, really good shake, I would say. I just love the smell of root beer float, guys. Like, you have no idea. Oh, it's very, very thin. Like, a lot more thin than what I'm used to with Jeffree Star. So it's not patchy at all. I really quite like it. It doesn't really go with my makeup that I have on today, but it does go on really, really nicely. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to talk for a minute or two and I'm going to let this dry down because I can still see a lot of shine. I don't know if you guys can too, but can you guys see the shine? Okay, so that liquid lipstick has pretty much dried down now. Um, what I'm going to do is, on my hand, I'm going to compare it to Celebrity Skin, Gemini, and Doll Parts. I'm going to compare it against the three. Just so you guys at home, if you're deciding between a few of them, you can kind of get an indication. So this one here is Gemini. 
So it's a lot less pink, or it's a lot more of a muted pink, I should say. Below that, I'm going to swatch Celebrity Skin. Which is a lot more neutral than both of those. And the last one that I'm going to do is Doll Parts. Doll Parts is the one on the bottom. So I would say if you want something that's a little bit more brighter than Gemini or Celebrity Skin, but you didn't want to go as bright as Doll Parts, I would recommend Rose Matter as like a shade um, on its own. Okay, so I have given this a few minutes to set on my lips now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press my lips against a clean tissue. You can see that it's clean. Let's just see how it goes. This is just going to see if it transfers or not. I'm actually quite happy with that. I don't know if you can see. That's my saliva. That's really gross. Um, but like it only has the tiniest little bit where like the inner portion of my mouth is. To be honest, I'm not going to hold that against it. I think it's a really, really gorgeous color. It did dry down and it's not transferring at all. So I really, really like it. Um, so yeah, I would say it's a beautiful color. If you're considering getting it, I hope that these swatches kind of help you. So Rose Matter, Gemini, Celebrity Skin and Doll Parts. Um, just if you were debating between them and you didn't know which one. But yeah, I really love Gemini. Gemini is really, really pretty and I think Rose Matter is now going to be up there as well. So I'm actually really, really impressed that it doesn't transfer onto a tissue. Um, it does feel slightly heavy, but nothing more than any other liquid lipstick would. You know what I mean? Like, obviously it doesn't feel like you're wearing nothing, but it doesn't feel super heavy either. It's just, you know, and I like how it doesn't transfer. I like the color. I think it's really, really gorgeous. I think it's a very, very complimentary shade that he's added to his collection um, of liquid lipsticks, and I really, really like it. Um, I hope the swatches helped you guys. Okay guys, so that's all I really have to show you, I think. I really, really like the colour. I love how it doesn't feel so oily on the lips like Scorpio does. I like how it doesn't transfer. I like how it doesn't feel ultra heavy. I think it's just really, really nice. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. You guys have no idea. And I will see you next time. Bye.